Slipshot here and this week it's a quick tutorial on setting up the Steam Controller to work with the PC SX2 PlayStation 2 emulator. Now it's fairly simple obviously as you can see my binds are just to regular keyboard keys they could be pretty much any key that you want but you would probably want to avoid the PC SX2 shortcut keys such as escape which exits the game window, obviously pretty undesirable, and also things like tab, which activates turbo mode. It's just something to be wary of. And then there's just a few things to be wary of when you set up the binds. First of all, uh, for the triggers, you want to be doing it on soft pull action, not full pull action. For these to get it close to how a PlayStation 2 controller actually feels. Then for the trackpads and specifically the analog sticks you want to set it up with the directional pad style of input as well as analog emulation. You may actually want the dead zone slightly lower than I have them there. Then uh, for the right trackpad or what would be the right analog stick you cannot use the mouse because although PCSX2 plugin Lilypad does actually recognize the inputs when you select them, in game it has no effect, so it needs to be a directional pad. And yeah, now I'm going to jump over to PCSX2. Now, in PCSX2, you want to go to config and down to controllers across to plugin settings. Now with keyboard bindings you can choose raw input but Windows messaging is the recommended and it, I have tested both and both work. Um, with the mouse API it doesn't matter because it doesn't actually work and ideally you want to enter it into pad 1. Then all you have to do is click on the option that you want to choose and press the corresponding button on the Steam Controller pad. One thing you will notice is that if I go back here to plugin settings uh, you can actually use X input but unfortunately due to how big picture mode works and how the Steam Controller derives X input it, you, I have been unable to get it to work with Lilypad. Lastly, we have the method of accessing the bindings. As you'll see, when I press B, mine are actually saved as a desktop configuration, which is purely because I created the bindings before I knew about adding non-Steam games to Steam. And I also don't use the desktop functionality of the Steam controller since I have a laptop anyway. However, if you do like to use it on the desktop, or if you want to create more specific bindings for individual games within PCSX2 then you probably want to add it uh, that is PCSX2 as a non-Steam game to Steam and through that you can create uh, individual bindings for each game which will save under that uh, individual program rather than have to go through a gigantic list of all your bindings to find it Thank <laughs> you.